Three more Valentines without your dad. Go on, just like that. I know. I used to see those flowers at the side of the road. Always wondered who left them. Now it's us. I still miss him, you know. Every day. He'd keep me now and into touch, wouldn't he? No messing. No, oh, someone needs to. I just don't get it, Mum. I mean, we must have got to get the cash together, and then he leaves me on my own. And then when he does bother to turn up, it costs us two grand. Yeah, doesn't make sense. Unless he wants us to go under before we've even begun, but <laughs> that doesn't even make sense either. Or he could be telling the truth. I know where I put it, Mum. It's not going to move itself now, is it? Which uh, car do you want Paddy to look at? Uh, well, why are you here? To work. Sorry, were you? Well, mate, are you feeling up to this? No, Andy, come on. You sit down and I'll, I'll make you a brew. I'd rather get on with it. Uh, I'll go and have a word. You coming? I uh, know. I just need a quick scrap-related chat, if that's all right. Good luck with that. Paddy, finished? Counselling Adam about Aaron or do what we pay him to do? Well, the heck Aaron can't fight his own battles has been on me. <laughs> Says the man who was fighting Adams last night. Our son is no liar. No, neither's Aaron. But somebody shifted that scrap sign. They both know what they're doing. Why would they sabotage themselves? They wouldn't. <laughs> but the nimby next door would if she thought I might get rid of them. Eric is a shareholder. Yeah, and Val has been chewing his ear off ever since he invested in them. She wants them out, and Devious is her middle name. And I think Valerie and I need to have a chat, don't you? It's like catnip for rodents, scrap. Well, catnip's a cat thing, not a rat thing. <laughs> oh, and it's a well-known fact that your average rat loves nothing more than a good gob full of metal. If anybody else uses the S word, they're barred. I don't want a repeat of last night. We don't either. Yeah, things got out of hand. But 20 odd. Not two. Don't need us snapping at each other and all. Yeah. Shall I, um, take these back then? Oh, you can leave them here. And I might have something for you later upstairs, if you're good. Hmm. Well, from now on, we keep rows about our boys where they belong. Yeah, I can agree more. Does that mean it's out of my pub? I'll second that. Well, if you ask me, they may as well pack up now, cos when word of this shambles gets out, nobody'll even trust them with Noddy's pedal car. What you'd call a result, then? No. A result would be them two beggaring off and playing scrapyard challenge somewhere else. So you'll have to try harder next time. Maybe blow up their office? That's a thought. Thanks for that. There's only one reason Aaron scrapped the wrong car, and I am looking at her. No pet. The reason they can't tell a knackered car from an unknackered one is because they're a pair of loser ex-lags that can't muster up half a brain cell between them. Oi! They do say the best line of defence is attack. You had motive, opportunity... And a cast-iron alibi. Emma came up to see the place while they were faffing around, and then when she left, I had Tracy on the phone. So go on, Jessica Fletcher, do your worst. Prove it. You want to accuse? Pearl, Diane... It's got to be Emma. Well, you reckoned you knew it was Val? Yeah, but it all makes sense. She was there with Val. I mean, she hates me, Chaz. And she threatened me. Did she? Yeah. When? A couple of weeks ago. She said that things were going to start turning nasty, and guess what? And even though I've bent over backwards to try and make amends, all of a sudden they do. Got a minute? Come on in. You know, I underestimated you. <sighs> Bad idea on so many levels. Empty threats, I thought. A spineless needy cow like her, she'll never have the balls to follow through. Sorry, is this going somewhere? Only my bath's getting cold. I know what you did. With the cars. And I know why you did it. And you know more than me. You were up at the yard with Val. You hate me, and you've got every reason to want Adam to fail. Oh, he'll manage that without any help from me. Not on my watch. See, you wouldn't know this, but when you love your kids, you don't try and smother them. You'll stop at nothing to protect them. When you're not sleeping with your husband's brother. If you even think of trying to set him up again, it won't just be that car that's pulled to pieces. I'm wetting myself here. Well, like you said, when things go wrong, they go wrong fast. And things have only just started for you, so you best watch your back. 